Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting, fun-filled, and special episode of Andrew Rants, the video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch and complain about everything that annoys the living hell out of me and drives me insane, wondering why, oh why, the universe has yet to implode upon itself with the stupidity that has been laid upon it. And then I get my question answered by watching this current death battle episode that just recently aired as of the recording of this video. That would be the Ben Tennyson versus Green Lantern death battle. Which, by the way, pretty much went the way of Goku vs. Superman. Now, I know in previous podcast episodes and on comments, I said that it could go either way, depending upon what the powers were used. And I still stand by that. It could have gone either way. However, the Death Battle cast openly admitted that Ben 10 is going to have every alien during their Death Battle cast show. This was brought to my attention. So, with all of his aliens at his disposal, you would assume Ben Tennyson would have the advantage. Better yet, why did we only get the 10-year-old Ben Tennyson? Why not the 16-year-old or the adult Ben Tennyson? We're having Ben 10. What the hell difference does it make which version we get? Either the 10-year-old wannabe, the 16-year-old badass, or the adult kickass. What the hell does it matter? No, we get the 10-year-old novice at this point. Oh, sure, he's speeding through the city as Accelerate until Hal Jordan stops his ass with his bubble and then goes, yeah, you're carrying a very dangerous weapon. I'm going to take it from you. Yeah, see how well that's going to work, jackass. So far, one of the things that the Death Battle cast actually got right is the fact that the Omnitrix will protect itself. This has been known to any fan of Ben 10 for ages. Ben Tennyson's Omnitrix will protect itself from any harm coming to it or Ben. But, here's the thing. Now, I'm going to spoil this, by the way, if you haven't watched the episode. I highly suggest you do that. But here's what happens. Ben 10 loses because Green Lantern goes back in time, slices off his arm, and calls it a day. Then stomps on the little shit stain. Uh-huh. And I'm pissed off. Why? Oh, I know. Because I was weak-ass horse piss. No, no, I'm just going to say it, okay? Let's just face the facts here. That episode of Death Battle was weak-ass horse piss. And I mean weak-as-water-ass horse piss. I could be all for, you know, kicking ass and taking names till you're blue in the face. Be my goddamn guest. I will be all for it. You want to whoop some ass? Let's whoop some ass and take some names. But if you make a death battle, weak-ass horse piss like that, whoo, you had better be coming up with something damn good down the pipeline to make up for it because that was a shit show. That was worse than Mario vs. Sonic. And that thing, that was an atrocity. I don't care what you're smoking. That was an atrocity and you guys know that. But let's break this fight down, shall we? So first off... Ben Tennyson didn't even use feedback at all in this death battle. Yet feedback was mentioned in the description. It was mentioned. I was going to say description of the video. It was mentioned. No, in the description of the character during the during the character introduction phase, where it's showing off the character, giving the powers and everything else. Feedback was mentioned. It was shown. Yet we get no feedback. Why? Because feedback could have won that bitch for Ben. He would have just absorbed the power rings energy, shot it right back at Hal Jordan. Problem solved. He would have drained the AAA battery that is the freaking power ring, or hell, even just drained the freaking power battery and called it a damn day and won. Second issue is one that many YouTubers and many fans have been bitching about, and that is Alien X. And I am all for it on this one. Ben 10 having Alien X was where I said that sword's going to dangle one of two ways. It's either going to be a hindrance or a massive help. And in this case, Ben had full control of Alien X. All of Alien X's powers. It was completely unlocked to Ben's control. Sort of like it was in Omniverse when he was getting his ass kicked by the other... Oh, what the hell is it? Sapien or something? I don't know. Whatever it is. But either way, boom. He had full control of Alien X. Yet, how Jordan's force field stopping Alien X? I'm going to agree with several YouTubers who called bullshit on this. Because it is bullshit! That would not have worked, especially when multiple ones are standing out in the distance. 
Alien X is not squarely a melee fighter, even though Ben Tennyson is. However, Alien X has a magnitude of powers at its disposal. He could blink and you're gone. They mentioned that in the one thing. What was it? Ultimate Alien? They mentioned that. You blink, the universe is gone. You blink, you're gone. Because they were all dormant, and Kevin even made the comment, no, this is good, because if they blink, we're out of existence. Yet, Alien X is thanos Green Lantern. So did Alien X suddenly get control of the Infinity Gauntlet, and I missed something somewhere? Because that would make no fucking sense! And here we go with the other problems. Alien X rewinds time. Alien X is omnipotent. And yet, Hal Jordan travels back in time. I know that they had, the one YouTuber had a name for this, and God knows it escapes me. It's a paradox. But either way, Paradox would have called bullshit on this fight. Hal Jordan goes back in time, slices off the arm, and stomps Ben Tennyson. Bullshit, because I agree with the one that Alien X would have followed Hal Jordan back in time, through the time stream, beat his ass back into the present, and it just continued whooping his ass. This fight was fixed from the start, and you know it. It seems to be whichever champion or whichever combatant gets the most screen time during their run of, here's how their powers work, here's the backstory form, seems to be the one that leads towards a victory. It's not all the time, but almost 90%, and I've seen a ton of these. Now, granted, I was going to say, oh my god, they're just fucking DC fanboys, but I remember a death battle... Iron Man versus Lex Luthor. Iron Man's Marvel, Lex Luthor's DC, and Iron Man whooped his ass like it was nothing. Beautiful fight, by the way. I love that one. Love the CGI in that. Gotta do more of those, because that 8-bit atrocity that we had for this fight was a shit show. Oh, God. And that's just a start. I am going to go off on a fucking tangent for this. First off... Gray Matter would have had a chance. Brainstorm would have had a chance. Upgrade, Diamond Head, who you mentioned but never fucking used. Chroma Stone could have even been used, though Ben doesn't technically have that transformation anymore, if memory serves me. But still, it's an evolution of Diamond Head, so bite me. At least to the best of my knowledge and remembrance of the Ben 10 series. Kiss off either way. Feedback. Atomics. Did you forget about Atomics? Ben Victor, you have uh, the, the clock one. Clockwork, clockwork, you have clockwork. Clockwork, for God's sake, can you hear freeze time? Echo, echo, ditto. Jet Ray, big chill. The fact the Omnitrix will give Ben Tennyson, who didn't even mention it in the show. Both Wiz and Boomstick mention it, and the official Ben 10 series mentions it, that Ben 10 has the ability... The Omnitrix gives him that if he is in mortal danger, it will transform him into what he needs to survive. It has a built-in survival function because it is bonded to his DNA. It is a part of him. Do you take advantage of this? Once. When Hal Jordan wants to start the fight. And by the way, that's another point I want to get to then. When Hal Jordan wants to start the fight, you have an energy field go around it that shoots him backwards. That's the Omnitrix protecting itself, and if you went back to the start of it, it would still have that power to blast his ass away! But no, we want to end this fight because Hal Jordan's going to win. Kiss off all of you fans. Miserable bastards, a lot of you. Trust me on this one when I say this. Now, the point that I also want to make, I didn't even know the fight started. Usually they have a fight start off each battle. At least, unless they change that all of a sudden, but the last couple ones I saw, they did. There wasn't one for this. How Jordan just started beating Ben, and Ben just went off and transformed. It was a pissing contest. That's how this thing started. A pissing contest. And that's not even the worst part of this. Besides the fact that Honestly, I'm pissed off to all hell at how this turned out. I'm more ashamed because I actually like Green Lantern and I like Ben 10. And somehow you've managed to fuck both of them up. I don't know 
whether it was intentional, whether it was on purpose, or if you just have your heads so squarely planted up your backsides and up your hamster holes that you don't understand or even read the context for which you're actually using. You said it yourself, that feedback can contain the black hole. In the episode clip that they used actually shows two points of reference for this fight alone. Besides the fact that feedback can absorb a tremendous amount of energy, it also shows that the Omnitrix will do whatever it has to do to protect it and Ben. Hence why it was cycling through all the aliens as quickly as it could, trying to figure out which one would be perfect for the situation, before realizing feedback was the best choice because feedback could actually contain the energy. But yet, you don't use feedback, yet you mention it in the list of aliens Ben can transform into. Who do you use? Oh, gee, uh, Heat Blast, Way Big, Gray Matter, oh, Alien X. Do you even bother to crack the top ten here? Granted, you used Alien X, but you used him pathetically. In all honesty, if I would have been in charge of this death battle, first off, it would have been a hell of a lot more fun than it was. This was a piss shit poor attempt by you at death battle, by Wiz and Boomstick and all the people involved to just piss out a video because people wanted to do it. You seem more comprehensive in pitching whatever the hell you were pitching before the fight actually started during the halfway intermission. Oh, the combatants are ready, but now let's talk about this little event we're going to be at because that's going to take major importance here. Usually that's where you put your blue apron crap and I sit through that. But no, this time you're pitching your own thing. Why? Well, because, I guess, Blue Apron must have dumped your ass. I wonder why they did. Uh, oh, God. It just... Ugh. I'm just disappointed with this fight. I'm not even going to sugar tits this. I am pissed. Okay? This fight was a shit show. This was weak-ass horse piss, and you know it. The fans... I have made a rematch. Right here, right now. Remake that video... Give us a better version of it. Let the fans actually decide which will be good and actually do some goddamn research on your champions before you throw them out into the ocean. You're basically putting one kid that has access to a shit ton of aliens up against the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern, by the way, was playing catch-up. And you're going, all Ben can do is play catch-up. Bullshit! Ben was in control of that thing for the fucking start of it! He blasted Hal Jordan's ass back with the defensive matrix of the Omnitrix to begin with, you jackasses! Alien X was a badass. But you misused the power so horrendously you misused them. Oh, God. Oh. Ugh. Better yet, get Thanos back into this and have him snap your asses out of existence, yes? Let's get some competent people in charge of this. I am a fan of Death Battle, and I will always be a fan of Death Battle. But when you keep pulling weak-ass horse shit like this, that's pathetic. Even by your standards and mine. I, for one, enjoy watching this. I like watching two characters go at it. It's one of the few things I get to enjoy. I'm like Caligula, damn it. We all kind of are who watch this. We're like Caligula. We all stand in a collective arena, and we're all going, yes, kill him, finish him, finish him. In this case, we're going, this fight was fixed. And it was. But yet, you don't seem to realize that. Fans have been bitching this fight out, and I am one of them. I will gladly join them on this. This fight was fixed. Ben 10 could have honestly wiped the floor with Hal Jordan, and you know it. I know it. Everyone in the world knows it. How the hell did you manage to do this? My guess is you wanted Hal Jordan to win because the Green Lantern's DC and you like DC? Fine. Or is it some other reason? Because your math sure as hell doesn't add up. Alien X could have been a badass and took an out shit. Everybody's caught. Watch half a dozen YouTube videos that are dedicated to this topic alone and you will see how big of a screw up you've done. You've honestly pissed off a magnitude of a fan base that is the small powder keg of which you do not even want to touch. And let's not even forget the ultimate aliens. The Ultimatrix. 
And then you even mentioned an item that Ben 10 used once, once in a video game, and you never mention it or use it in the fight. Just like half the aliens you mentioned and you never used. I... There... How the f could you screw this up? Seriously, I kind of feel like that person that's screaming at a movie screen going, Why? Why is it this bad? And yet I watch this. I almost hate to think with the people that, what is it, paid sponsorship that you do? That they can watch it on a Monday before it goes out on a Wednesday? Is that how that works? Because if that's paid, I would be demanding a refund if I was one of them. Because this fight was screwed. It was fixed. It was flawed. And you messed it up. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think the Ben 10 Green Lantern fight could have been done better and should be done better? Or were you happy with the outcome and believe that Wiz and Boomstick did an okay job both explaining the powers and how the fight went? Let me know in the comment section below and let's really get this thing going here. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes and this has been Andrew Rance. Whoa! Stop! Hold on! I messed up for a moment. I said black hole when I should have said Big Bang, that feedback contained. And also, here's another comment and question for you, Wiz and Boomstick over on uh, Death Battle. Um, what horse's ass did you pull that bullshit out of about the DNA of the user of the Omnitrix becoming mutated horribly if uh, they constantly change quickly? Because, um, yeah, that's bullshit. That's like 100% BS. Let's see how... Let's see, where could you even come up with that? Uh, if you're going to go with Kevin Levin, um, Kevin tried to forcibly take the Omnitrix. He ended up gathering a portion of its energy. Ergo, he caught the energy of some of the aliens that reside inside via DNA. It, that part, is what messed him up. He already had absorbed some of them prior to that, and it just reawakened those absorbed genes inside of him, mutating them horribly. It didn't do shit to Ben. So what horse's ass did you pull that out of? Oh, God. So much wrong with that death battle. Fix it. That was a shit show. Fix it. I'm Andrew Rhodes. This has been Andrew Rance. Night, everybody.